hi boys and girls, uh, in your package. This so line was sad to have to send this to you and not get to teach it to you, so I'm kind of going to try to teach it a little bit uh, on video here, and that is time. Uh, it's one of my favorite subjects to teach because uh, I think it's important that children understand time. A lot of the times when we look at time, look at I'm using the word time a bunch of times there, <laughs> it's digital time, and digital time looks like this. It's kind of what you would see on the stove or on an alarm clock maybe in your bedroom, and it might say time like this, written like this. This one's the time it is right now for Miss Lyme. It's 11.58. So time can be written like that, and it's super easy to learn it that way. But understanding time and the basic parts of it, we have to do it a different way. We have to do it with a face clock like this. So Miss Lyon sent you one like this. And what I'm going to do right now is make it with you. So if you're watching this video and you have the clock and you haven't done it yet, please pull it out and we're going to make it right now. So the first thing we want to do, obviously, is cut slowly and really around the fair, right around the edge of our clock face. I'll show you mine right now while I'm cutting. Um, yeah, we're going to cut all the way around the clock. Remember, we want to take our time when we're cutting. We don't want to rush. And nice and slow. Hopefully you all have scissors. I did check with families and they did seem to think they all did. So hopefully you did. So there you go. Cut that out. And then this is the trickier part to cut out is your two hands. We have an hour hand and a minute hand. The hour hand a little bit shorter, the minute hand longer. So when you're cutting it out, be be really easy to go on the edge of the line. Don't cut them too skinny because they'll be harder to move around. And as you're going to see when you make this, you actually can move your clock around. So today's video is just going to be about making the clock. And then I am going to do another video a little bit more about teaching time, a little bit more about the hours and the minutes in the clock. So for now, I'm just going to get you to cut the clock out with me as I'm doing it. So there's my minute hand. And as you can see, I tried to go really slow. I'm going to place it right here. So I'm going to make a suggestion about coloring the hands. Um, I did the minute hand, the longer one, uh, in a blue. So if possible, you can pull out your crayons and possibly color yours in a blue. That would be helpful because then as we're talking about the hands and we're moving them, we can refer to them in their colors as well. So this line is just finished cutting out the hour hand. Just fix that a little bit. And this one's red. So minute hand, the longer one will be blue. And the hour, my little one here, is going to be red. So there's my two hands. Now, Miss Lion included in your package one of these clips. It should look something like that. See it? So they call it butterfly clip. And they call it butterfly clip because the two sides bend a little bit like butterfly wings. And you'll also recognize them because when we use duotangs in class in our reading groups, we put things in them, they're very similar attachments, right? So the paper goes through. So Miss Lion also is going to use an extra piece of paper on the back because I like my clock to be a little thicker. So if you have an extra piece of paper, this is what I would do. I would cover the back with glue using your glue stick. And I'm going to lay it in the middle of, I'm going to use a bright blue paper like that. And again, this is just to give my clock a little thickness to it. So a thicker paper. Um, and then I'm going to cut around the edge. So I glued it on like that. And now I'm going to go around it, but watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to be really wide so that I can see the blue around the edge. And now my clock isn't so flimsy. It's got a thickerness to it with two pieces of paper and a little bit of color. So again, you can use any paper you want. You could just keep it for one paper too, that's okay. But I'm gonna make mine a little bit thicker. Okay, so there's my clock. Now, we'll just mention right now that when we're holding a clock, the 12 is always at the top and the six is always at the bottom. So I'm gonna take my hands here and I'm gonna put them on top of each other. You see those dots there? I'm going to lay them on top of each other like that so that they're crossed over. 
and then the dot in the middle. This is where you might need a little help from mums or dads. And I think in some cases at school, Miss Lyon would actually help you do this as well, but you might be able to do it. So these butterfly clips have a pointy part to them. You're going to put that pointy part through both hands and your clock all the way through in a hole as a poke. So you can try to keep them in the middle. The, um, the butterfly clip has got a point to it. I also find sometimes I use the end of my scissors and I can put a little bit of a hole in. So again, this might be where your parents could help you a little bit. So I poked a hole, you can see it through there. And then I take my butterfly clip, uh, the dot metal circle on the top and push it through my clock. See that, turn it in, you can see it like that and I got it upside down. And then I bend my butterfly clip like that. There it is. So right now you're going to make your clock. I haven't colored my hands yet. And you will see that you'll be able to turn, turn the hands. And we'll use that next time I make a video and I'll be using the clock. So there's our hands. We have our hour hand, which is the short one, and our minute hand, which is the long one. And I'm going to off camera color them. And when I come back and talk to you again about time, hopefully you can pull out your clock that you've made and we can do a little bit more discussing about our first lesson on time. All right, this was making our clock.